Hey everyone, and welcome to another installment in my Grown Ass Women series, or as I like to refer to it now, GAW. Um, I want to start things off by announcing the winner of my MAC palette giveaway. I had so much fun reading your comments, and um, I'm just overwhelmed by the amount of people that commented, and 99.9% .9 of them were very positive, so I'm just, I'm so happy that something that I made is helpful to you. You have no idea how rewarding that is, and I am so excited to announce the winner. So, the winner of the MAC uh, palette, well, it's actually Z palette with, I believe it's five or six MAC shadows, can't remember. Um, her name is Lynn Whiting, and her YouTube name is Sandy's Mom 55. So, yay! Um, Lynn, if you would like to send me an email, my email address is down there, so click the um, About word there, down there, and it'll open up and my email will be down there. Um, send me an email with your full name and address and I will get that out to you as soon as I hear back from you. I'm so excited. And stay tuned until the end of this video because who knows, there might be another one. Anyway, so today's topic is all about brushes and there's so much to say and I didn't want to overwhelm you. I remember um, this series is geared towards women who are um, generally older than 35, let's say, and kind of new to makeup at the same time. So I'm assuming you, either you have no brushes or very limited amount of brushes, very limited knowledge about brushes, and that is okay. So I'm going to recommend what I think is the very basic amount, and I recommend these particular brushes, but you know, if you see similar brushes that are in a better price range for you or more um, available to you where you are, by all means, get those brushes, play with those, and then I have tons to recommend to add to the collection, but I didn't wanna just throw all this stuff at you and completely overwhelm you. So, I'm gonna start with the face brushes, and um, yeah, so here we go. So, foundation. I think it's key when applying foundation to not use your fingers. Um, mostly because, well, for two reasons. First, it's messy. You get it all over your fingers, and then unless you have a wipe, you start touching things, you get makeup everywhere. That's number one. Number two is you just aren't gonna get in every nook and cranny. You're not gonna get an even coverage. It can get blotchy, splotchy, heavy in some spots, not heavy enough in others. So, I think a brush really helps with that. And I have a lot of favorite foundation brushes, but the one that I think is first of all, available internationally pretty much, and secondly, is just awesome, is the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. Looks like this. I've talked about it in videos before, and what you do, what I like about it is that it's dense yet fluffy at the same time. And because the shape is sort of tapered here, you can really get into your side of your nose, underneath your eyes, if you're so inclined to put foundation there. Some people aren't, I, I do. Um, you know, just all over the place. Um, how I recommend using it is take your foundation, and we'll talk about foundations in another video to come, but, um, and that hands down will be the most complicated video for me to make. It's, it's been a nightmare to research. Fun, and yet frustrating. Take a couple of pumps of your liquid foundation, although this is good with cream too, but we won't go there right now. And I, um, so don't dunk your brush in. I recommend is you put a pump or two of your foundation on the back of your hand, take your finger, dip it in, and you know, repeatedly dip it in and basically place dots all over your face in, you know, in random pattern. I like to dot a foundation specifically like on a blemished area. Then with whatever's left in your hand, then dab just a little bit. It gives it a little more slip. And then I just dab and swirl and dab and swirl and paint and just get it all over. Like you're painting your face, really. I mean, if you've ever painted a wall, then you get the idea. So. That's the Expert Face Brush. Highly recommend it for foundation. Okay, now, gotta set your foundation and you need a powder brush. There are quite a few that I like. One I think is the most friendly for <laughs> beginners and it is the Real Techniques Powder Brush. Now, some people are gonna say, Marnie, this is ridiculously huge. It is ridiculously huge. Another powder brush that I like is by Sonia Kashuk and it looks like that and it's a little bit wide. It's not quite as big. Look at that. There you go. But what I like about this is you can just, you know, dip it in your powder and just stamp it, swirl it, buff it. It just, it's very easy to hold. 
it's a good price point. Um, I do like it. If this size looks a little intimidating to you, I also really like the Sonia Kashuk one. This is available at Target and um, it's very user-friendly. It could also be used as a bronzing brush if you want to do some multitasking. We'll talk about that in a minute. But what I think is probably my ultimate favorite for powder is another Real Techniques brush. I'm recommending my favorites for a reason. I These are what I use all the time. Um, it's the blush brush. Uh, I think this is too big for a blush brush. I like um, this for powder because it's soft, it's fluffy, but it's not so big so that if you are a little intimidated by the size of the actual powder brush, this is, you can really just spot where you want it. If you really only need it in your T-zone or you want it to get under your eyes, you actually can with this. It's very versatile and I guess if you have huge cheeks, if you have a very large head, um, lucky you, but this actually I guess could be a decent blush brush as well, but um, I think this is more geared to powder myself and bronzer. So speaking of bronzer, I personally am not a makeup artist. I um, am not great with getting bronzer on my face and contouring and all that. I know I'm heavy handed. I've gotten better over the years, but it's still not great. And what I have found has helped a lot is if I use what's called a duo fiber brush for bronzer especially. Um, basically duo fiber brush is I mean, most obviously, is that the tips of the brush are a different color than the base of the brush. In actuality, it basically means that the tip of the brush is a lot less dense than the base of the brush, and the fluffier the brush, the less color is deposited on your skin. So for those of us that are heavy-handed, duo fiber brushes are a fabulous thing. Um, I particularly like this one, again, Sorry, I'm not sponsored by Real Techniques, although if they want to send me free brushes, that's totally cool and I will take all of them. But I actually own, I think, all of them at this point. Um, so if you send me any brushes, Real Techniques people, Sam and Nick, I'll send them to you guys. No, anyway, um, so this is part of a duo fiber collection. There are three brushes in the collection, but this is really the only one that I reach for and it's the biggest one. It's just the duo fiber face brush is what it's called. And what I like about this, like I said, it's fluffy on the top, so if you're heavy-handed with that bronzer, it won't pack it on as hard. And the shape of it, it's wide this way and narrow this way, which makes it great if you want to get into the hollows of your cheeks. I swear I blended this. I know it doesn't look like that on camera, but I swear I did. Um, and you can really, basically again, swirl it around in your bronzer, tap it off, and suck it in and do that, you know, a little bit up here, sweep down to here, don't get your hair in it, sweep around here, basically the edges of your face and bring it into the center. I didn't want this to be a whole makeup lesson, but anyway, that's what you use the bronzer brush for. And um, you can even use it for blush. I mean, it's very useful. There's, You can use any of these brushes for pretty much anything you want. Just because it says something stamped on the side doesn't mean you can't find another use for it. So that's why I prefer this as a um, bronzer brush versus pretty much any other brush. This one is a close second, the blush brush again. It comes to kind of like a little point so you can get into the hollows and you can blend a lot. If you've, once you've deposited the color before you dip back in, maybe even wipe it off on the back of your hand, you can keep swirling and keep blending so that there's not a line. Kind of like what it looks like right now. But I'm promising you, it does not look like this in person. Okay, blush brushes. This is, I think, the final face brush that you really need. Um, one that I used for years and years and years, I don't think they make this exact one anymore, but they do make a version of it, is the Sonia Kashuk blush brush. It's O2. It's much smaller than the Real Techniques one. And um, it's just great for getting right on the apples of your cheeks. I feel like I have a brush hair on my face. It happens. Um, right on the apples of your cheeks, swirl it blend it back, you know. So this is a great, Mac makes one that looks like, every brush company in the world makes a brush that has a head shaped like this. Doesn't have to be Sonia Kashuk, it could be anybody. Um, however, back to Real Techniques, this is the multi-task brush. I love this brush because it is a multi-task brush, but this is the brush I reach for almost daily for blush because lately when I apply my brush, I just, blush. I dip the brush into the blush and stamp it 
right on my cheek. Just poof, poof. And then I sweep it back. Or I stamp it on the top of my cheekbone and sweep it forward. But there's just something about the shape of this and it's very soft and I find it to be very workable. So I recommend this one too. And it's a lot softer than the Sonia Kashuk one, if that makes a difference to you. So, um, and then that's it for face brushes. And the reason I have recommended the not so expensive brushes, because trust me, I have other brushes that are much more expensive, mostly the MAC ones, is because I want you to get a feel for how you like using them. And then if you feel like you like those brushes and you want to explore, then you can get into other brands and, and maybe some more expensive options. Um, there's some great, you know, Bobby Brown makes great brushes, NARS makes great brushes, obviously MAC makes great brushes, but um, I think it's best to get into basics first and then if you need to or want to expand, you can. So now onto eye brushes. And even though there are a million face brushes, I feel like you really don't need quite so many eye brushes. I like to have lots because I do makeup a lot and I'm lazy and don't wanna wash my brushes every day. So I have multiple versions of the same one. But basically, you need a flat shader brush. My personal favorite is the MAC 239, but um, a perfectly serviceable one, and one that I own many, 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 many of, is the e.l.f. Professional Eyeshadow Brush. It's just this one. It's just a flat brush, very thin when you turn it sideways, and its, it's use is to just dip in the color and literally just pack it on the lid, just with the flat part. The big part just pack it on the lid um, what I do like about the elf brush is that it is also thin so you can dip the tip of the brush in and use it underneath the eyes you can even get really close to lashes if you want to do a like an eyeliner out of eyeshadow along the base of your lashes it's a nice little brush it's a dollar so if you're new to makeup and you're a little intimidated about spending 20 something dollars on a Mac brush get the elf one they are great Another brush that I highly recommend that you need is a fluffy crease brush. And one that I like a lot is by so the brand Soho, these lovely hot pink candles. I've seen them at my drugstore, local drugstores. I've seen them at my grocery store. This is very similar to the MAC 224 brush. And um, you see that it kind of flares out and it's much looser here. I think this is a great brush for getting in the socket line and depositing your matte crease color here and blending it out at the same time. It's great for taking those, if you're, you know, put the color down a little too hard and you need to blend a harsh line out so it's not just a straight line of color. It's great for blending out. It's a very versatile brush for other things like blending concealer, but it's a, I think everyone needs a brush of some sort like this. Sigma makes a version, Sedona Lace makes a version that are fabulous, MAC not so much. So you need that. And then the last brush that I think everybody needs in their collection for sure is some version of the MAC 217 brush. Again, Sedona Lace, Sigma, a lot of other brands make a version of it. Basically, it kind of looks like a flat shader brush and that it is flat on one side. But when you turn them sideways, this one stays vertical. This one, I'm just gonna, goes like this. And it gives you the benefit of being able to pat color on your lid, but because it's fluffy, it's a less pigmented color application. Or you can use it because it comes to a point, you can use it to put stuff in your crease or your outer corner, which is what I use it for. But because it's fluffy, it's blending it at the same time. So it gives you a precise application of where you want it, but because you buff it on in like little circular motions and windshield wiper motions, it blends out the shadow as it's doing double duty. It's a fabulous brush. Whoever you pick to make yours, you need, I'd say two. I just got this very dirty. Um, because you're gonna have this in your rotation all the time. I could do a full makeup look with just this one. Then there are a couple more that I would recommend. These are not must-haves. None of these are must-haves, I mean, but one last um, actually set of brushes that I recommend if you can get to Walmart or find these on eBay or Amazon. Um, it's a set of three brushes. They're made by the company Paris Presents, which is pretty much, I think, exclusive to Walmart, but I could be wrong. And it's a set of three brushes. I've been using these for years. I love them so much. I find that it's really helped me 
with my blending and other things. Um, it's a, like I said, it's a set of three, but they're double ended. So you're technically getting six brushes and, um, one brush here, it has a spoolie on one end and this is great. It's a small angled brush, which is great for getting eyeshadow in your eyebrows. If that's how you want to do your eyebrows or you could use it, um, you know, here it's very versatile and this is great for brushing out eyebrows or clumps of mascara. And then this brush is, um, I never use, <laughs> but it does have a flat shader brush, which is nice. And this is great for if you wanted to do setting powder. These are, this is an extra, but the one that I, the one brush that's worth buying just to buy the whole set just for this brush is this baby right here. So I talked about needing a brush to blend like this one. This one is very similar, but a little taller and a little more dense. And so if you have really messed up, and you've gone too far out with the shadow or it's just too harsh of a line up here because it's a little denser you dip this into this is like my eraser for my this is my eyeshadow eraser this stuff is amazing dip this into an eyeshadow shade that's the same color of your skin for me it's like a wet n wild um, brulee or the MAC blank type and you dip it in and then you just literally go back and forth over the area that you need to blend down like right here and it makes it all go away. It makes the edges all nice and blended and pretty. And this little pencil brush on the side, very identical to the MAC 219. Great for getting shadow in that inner corner and under the lash line here. Fabulous little brush, worth the price of the set just for this one. <clears throat> so those are the brushes that I recommend. Really just three necessary brushes, I think, for doing eyeshadow and then, well, you know, a powder brush, a foundation brush, a blush brush, and a bronzer brush, or this one. So really only maybe four, I would say, are necessary um, to do basic, <clears throat> excuse me, to do basic face makeup. But you know me, I never like to do just the basic thing. I like to get a little bit over the top. So I was recently contacted by Sedona Lace. And for those of you that are unfamiliar, it is a company that makes brushes. Um, I have recently discovered them in the last few months. I myself have bought mm, probably six to eight brushes from them. Anyway, they recently contacted me and asked if I'd be interested in doing a giveaway with them. And of course I said yes. So, very similar to the last um, GAW video, if you're interested in winning a set of brushes, is more than the basic amount, it's the Vortex Professional Brush Set which I will put a link to the description below. And um, just, you know, comment like you did last time and I'll scroll through those and I'll put the details of, you know, when, when the deadline is and when I'll announce it, I'll put all that in the description box to save some time. Um, you'll be entered by just commenting on this and if you want to comment but don't want to receive the brushes, just put that in there too because a lot of you already have more brushes than you want, so I, I understand that. But if you feel like you want some more, Go ahead and comment and, and you know, it would be nice if it was a helpful comment, not just enter me because those will be marked as spam. For those of you that don't win, Sedona Lace was kind enough to give me a discount code to pass on to you and I'll put that discount code down in there. I am not affiliated with Sedona Lace. I'm not getting any kind of kickback for this. Um, they did send me a set of the Vortex brushes to review, which I will do at a later date, but um, I've mentioned a few of them already in some previous videos. so. I can tell you that I personally use the brushes every day and I really like them a lot. I hope this has been helpful. I know these videos are longer than usual. Thank you for being understanding. It's a lot of information to get out to you and I don't wanna rush through it. I'd rather take the time and do it right than you know, leave you with not enough information. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the support for this series. It means so much to me. Um, I think the next video is going to be on blushes. The final video will be on foundation. So thank you so much. And then there'll be one on random stuff. Thank you so much for watching, like I said before, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.